circle in a sense. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get into it in just a second. I think we're all good there. Of course, as we have to start every single race for us, let me go ahead and just mute this music. <coughs> I don't care how cringy that gets. I do not care. I will be doing that every single time we do these. <laughs> we are ready to get underway for our second ever Marble Derby event. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> Adam hitting it with the cringe. Love it. All right. We will go ahead and get into this in just a moment. Get that music back on for us. So I'm thinking today we'll just go with three random tracks unless it lands on one of the tracks I plan on doing later for us for the final race. We're going to go and jump into it random for the first one. How long is this track? A minute. Ooh, a minute 28. I don't love that. I definitely want to try to keep these a little bit longer. So go random again. Uh, that, one's, that one's two minutes. We'll go for the third one. Okay, 222. Taking flight. All right. We'll start off with this one. we got 220 players. We're ready to go. Good luck, everyone. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to go and turn down the music just a little bit more. There we go. Awesome. Okay, okay. We're ready to get into it. Good luck, everyone. We're just going to have some fun. Again, three races. The first person in each race will enter the final race to take away the prizes. First place today gets the Jungle Pack. Second place, Shining Fates ETB. Third place gets the Rapidash uh, V-Box. And I hate myself, dude. Sean just finally got back to me. I, I'm going to go and let him know it is too late. All right, good luck, everyone. Here we go. Oh, didn't want to hit that button. Jeez. All right, starting the race, and we're dropping. Here we go, everyone. Good luck. I'm pretty sure this is a race that people can fall off. I've actually, I know, I've not done this one yet. This is really cool. I love this track. The people that made these, absolutely incredible. We'll see if anyone falls off pretty early here. Right now, we have Gabriel Char kind of splitting back and forth with the lead. They did, of course, buy the most spots. This is completely split right now. We'll stay on this side for at the moment. Looks like we have Char in first place over here. Gabriel looks like he's taking the lead over here. Uh, maybe not. Char. Char in the lead on both sides right now. I know sometimes it'll show who's in first place because certain parts of the track are ahead of others, even though it's behind. But here we go. Mark Egan in first place on this side right now. We'll see who comes down first through the through the hill. First one coming down. Wow, this is almost simultaneous right now. Char and Mark meeting up in the middle at the moment. I'm dying to know how this part goes. This is great. Little cars on the way. This is fun. All right. And the mess continues. All the marbles falling down for us right now. Looks like we have Elijah in first. Anthony right behind him, as we can see. Extremely close amount. Elijah jumping away with his first place marble. Just flying ahead of everyone else. Where'd he go? All right. Wow, he got some great air time there. Can he keep it going? Is he going to fall off? Beauregard flying through. It looks like Elijah is definitely going to take away first place here. Unless some sort of mishap. Oh, he's getting stuck, though. Wow, Elijah got some great air there. Looks like he's taking home first place. All right, Elijah. First place on our first race. An absolutely remarkable jump from Elijah. They're just flying over everyone. Char trying to do the same thing, but definitely could not make it. So, Elijah Thompson, you will be entering in for the final race. Beauregard did come in a very, very close second. Congratulations, Elijah, though, for taking first place in the first race. Once this all finishes up, we'll go and jump into our second race. Again, the first place of each race will be entered into the final race today. 
Very nice, Elijah. You're walking away with something today. Now, the question is, is it going to be a Rapidash box, a Shining Fates ETB, or a Jungle Pack? Uh, very, very close to having a potential hollow. I think there could be a hollow in it at that weight. I weighed it multiple times, like 20.53 is kind of what it keeps coming out to. But uh, we did get a hollow out of a 20.67. I would think it's going to be a light pack, though. But still pretty nice. Not bad at all. Elijah taking the first spot of this race. And we have an Elijah Marble just stuck up here right now. <laughs> all right. It's almost finished up here. Once it does end, I'll be able to jump into the next race for us. We'll keep all 210 marbles, of course. For all we know, Elijah, number one, could take another dub home today. All right. Elijah, thank you so much. I'm going to go and drop it in the chat. You are entered into the final race. All right, perfect. C final results. Who fell off? Who fell off? That's what, that's what I'm curious about. Two of char, one in 44. All right, we'll go back to the race menu. We'll grab another race for us to jump into it. Who's going to take that second spot? All right, random minute. I want to keep them over two minutes. Two minutes is kind of a... Oh, the dojo. We're definitely doing this one. I practice, I did a practice run of this one earlier. This one's so cool. A lot of marbles are going to fall off, I will say. <laughs> And the, I did one earlier for 210 marbles, and uh, I think only like 65 of them made it. But uh, good luck. Absolutely beautiful course. Comes right through the uh, the nice little dojo in here. They do fall off onto the edges. All right, it's, it's a nice slow burn to start, but we'll take a peek at the course. Very, I just love the layout of this course. So beautiful. Again, the people that make these tracks, fantastic. Char taking the lead for us right now. Oh, Micah. I think it was Micah jumping in. Yep. Can Micah take it away with the snipe today? That'd be wild. About to take our first jump. I don't think I've ever seen a marble miss this jump in like the two practice runs I did. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, which is good. All right, we got, oh, someone did just fall. Keith and Char had a couple dice. Gabriel had a couple. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of dice falling right now. And we keep it going. We do have Char in the lead. Scott in first with his ninth. Ooh, jump. Jumping ahead right through the loop. Coming down. Oh, Scott. Don't do this to us again, man. Scott really, really jumping ahead right now in the lead. Oh, no. Scott, he missed the entryway. All right. We got John and Anthony dropping in. A little bit further to go for this race right now. We have Matt Black right now jumping into first. John right behind him. Scott, oh, that hurt. I really thought he was going to kind of take it away right now. Quick lead. Oh, that's a... I'm, I'm confused. Oh, uh, is that... Why is that one not showing up on the race? That's a real question. I think that's a ghost one that died. If not, this might be Gabriel taking the win here. We'll, we'll see, though. Okay, yeah, no, it looks like Gabriel's going to take the win here. I'll double-check to make sure he didn't fall off the race, because there is maybe a chance that that one fell off. But Gabriel... This is the first hiccup I've had with this uh, event so far. Well, sorry, with this, uh, this uh, program. Gabriel, we're going to see if he fell off. If Gabriel didn't fall off and for some reason it just didn't count his dice, he takes the win here. But one second. All right, so we're going to check the final results. I think it's going to be Gabriel here, but there is, a, I guess, a chance that Char could take this one. Yeah, so that's the thing. It shows Char was in first, but in the actual video, Gabriel finished first, but I think it's because his fell off and they just placed him back onto the map. So if Gabriel 19 fell off the map, that does mean that Char took the win. One second, everyone. Just got to find Gabriel 19 to see where that one was. 
Okay, he did fall off the map. So it was like a ghost marble. They just gave him back on there. Okay, so Gabriel's did fall off. So it's good to know they do give you like a ghost marble for where it falls off. So it is actually going to be Char. Char does take the win there. Oh, I said dice. Oh, my bad. Jeez. I'm just still so used to doing dice games, man. Uh, so Char, you do actually take the win here. All right, so Char and Elijah are both in the uh, the final race at the moment. All right, well, at least now we know if there's a blue little box on the marble, we know that's a ghost dice. So, so we got to... Oh, does it actually show me with who won so far? That'd be cool. Oh, no, I guess not. All right, no problem. All right, back to the race menu. We'll do one more race until the final. Random. Ooh, at 248. I have not done this one. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. 248. A nice long one for the third race. So Char and Elijah right now taking uh, some dubs. All right, everyone. The third and final race to enter in. Oh, I love this aesthetic. This, like, Borderlands kind of style. The, the what is it? Uh, cell shading art. That's really cool. All right, good luck, everyone. We're going to go and start this race again. We have Elijah and Char right now for the final race. Who's going to join them to compete for the final prizes? Again, we have a Jungle Pack, a Shiny Fates ETB, and a Rapidash V-Box. Good luck, everyone. This one's going to be really interesting. Got them all slowly rolling through so far. Char in first. We got Scott Smith jumping through at the bottom. Travis taking a really quick lead down there. How does this one work? Okay, so they drop right back through. Interesting. This is cool. Back down onto the platforms. We'll see if I can actually see any of the marbles. Yep, we do have a couple marbles coming through now. We have Drew, Char, Scott all in the lead right now for the first obstacle, though. Let's see who gets tangled up here. All of them just busting through. There we go. Some more with some momentum in the back there, though. We got Scott and Char coming through in the early lead right now. We have Keith apparently in first on one of the sides. All right, coming right around the first turn up here for us. We have Matt Cameron. Ooh, Cameron taking away a little bit right now. We got Matt Black jumping in the front. All right, we have the first set of obstacles on this side. We have Cameron coming through on first side. We have Matt Black still on first on the other side here. Coming right down the spirals now. Let's we'll see who comes out on top. I feel like some people are going to get stuck right in there to see if they actually make it right through the, uh, the entryway at the bottom. All right, the first one coming through right now. We have Gabriel and Matt. Matt's still holding on to his first place side on the right over there. This will be really close, though. A lot of them spinning down. Char breaking out in the lead right now. Char 38 and Char 23. Char might have a nice, easy win here pending the rest of this race. This is a long race, though. Char still in first on both sides. Just a sea of Char right now. Oof, there we go. Char and Cameron breaking away right now. Got pushed right through. Char 40, Char 55, Jeff. Jeff coming through there, getting a little pushed away. Ooh, a couple people falling off at that part of the race. We have Char coming right through. This might be Char's race here. Oh, went right through ever so perfectly there. Coming right up the top now. There's no way this isn't Char's race, right? Ooh, he's getting... He really slowed down there, though. No, he's going to fall off. Char 40 falls off right before... Oh, wait. What? Where did these come from? <laughs> I must have missed some that came through a little bit earlier, but Char 23 did actually take the win there. Wow, okay, that was wild. Those must have really just flown through quicker than I was able to see them. All right. Well, Char was in the lead anyway with a couple of his, so he did still swing through with Char 23 there. Matt Black coming in for second. Very close, though. Char finally, with these huge, huge spots he's been buying in, finally does get to enter the final race for us today. I know with my events, Char's been on a little bit of a cold streak, so this might be a little different for him today. Char, Elijah... Actually... No, that's two for Char now. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yep, 
That's right, Char did come through in the first one. So Char with two spots against Elijah. Two Char, one Elijah. Got to go back to the settings now for us real quick. Actually, back to the home screen if possible. There we go. All right, settings. I do have to go through and actually delete all of these names now. So it will take a little bit of time. We'll go ahead and keep uh, two Char. Oh, you know what? Let me let me just clear. That that would make it so much faster. Char, Char. Throw Elijah in the middle. And then Char, Char again. All right, so these are the final three contenders. <laughs> Honestly, Austin, yours were just flying. Your speed, though, is insane. I th like, at some points, I thought you were just going to completely take away, and then, yeah, it was just gone. All right. All right, all right. Those are the three contenders. Char, Elijah, Char. Uh, the races we will be doing, because these are the only ones where marbles that I've been able to find that do not fall off the track. Uh, Boomerang, and I believe Paperclip. Boomerang's a little bit more fun, and it's a little bit longer. So we'll do this one. All right, again, we have the three names. Char, Char, and Elijah. Finish. All right. Good luck, everyone. We have three players here for us today. We're going to go ahead and start this race. As you can see here, these are the two races that this person made. But we can go ahead and test the track in just a moment. We'll take a peek. But we'll go ahead and get this started in just a moment. Good luck, everyone. Uh, for each, you know, for the Twitch chat, uh, it does not remove the marbles for each race. But for the race itself, when it does fall off, then yeah, it does kind of, I guess, give a ghost marble. But, uh, all right, everyone, good luck. These are the three contenders. We have Char, 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 and Elijah for the race here. Again, first place gets the Jungle Pack. Second walks away with the Shining Fates ETB. Third place does get the Rapidash V-Box. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. They do not know where to go right now. <laughs> all right, as you can we'll take a little peek at the track. We do have a, as it says, boomerang style map. Kind of the, the nice old, uh, just like, NASCAR style. Elijah kind of falling in the back a little bit here, but I have seen a lot of marbles. I tested this one out a bunch. They will kind of slow down at times and get stuck up in the top, as we did see Char, then bounce off the bottom here. If Elijah can get just a nice path, and he'll be able to kind of jump back into it here. We do have Char jumping away with a lead right now. Did just jump into the wall right there. Elijah's in third. We'll see if he can kind of pick it back up and possibly take a good spot here. Char is looking good, though. This is a three total laps. Elijah seems to be picking up a little bit of speed here, but we do have a lot of spacing at the moment. The first Char is going to be taken through for his first lap completion. I'm just dying to see if Elijah can even just come back and take second here, if anything. Coming for the first big turn, though, for us. The second char is actually really speeding up now. I would love if there's a way I can get like a little speed tracker to see how quick these two actually come through. Elijah's definitely closing the gap right now. If he can just stay off the edges, he'll be fine to really pick up some pace. Oh, Elijah taking over second place for us here. We'll see if he can come back through here. Char might actually take back in a second. We do still have Char in first right now though. Ooh, a nice turn, though. It really seems if you just stay off the wall, there's a really good chance you pick up some really good speed on the turns. Elijah really pushing through right now. Elijah taking over first place right now over Char. Oh, my goodness. Could he do this in the last lap? He just really needs to stay off the uh, the barrier there on the side. It's really just keep up that speed. Elijah coming up on the turn here. Didn't hit the wall, but Char is in first place. Ooh, we might see him take over here, though. This is really going to come down to the wire here. Could, could be a photo finish. Oh, Elijah really breaking away with speed here. Here we go. It's really come down to this last turn here. If Elijah can really just stay on track here for us and not have any sort of hiccup, he might take it the win here. Char really contesting, though. This is going to be so close. We're going to go ahead and get to the bottom of the race here. Good luck, guys. Elijah still in first place. It's going to be a photo finish. Char taking away with first place. Oh my goodness, that was wild with the photo finish ending there. That was absolutely crazy. 
we thought Elijah was gonna possibly take this away, but at the last second, Char coming through for first place. Wow, that was a lot closer than I thought it'd be. I really thought Char was just gonna completely take it away there. Let's go, that was so exciting. We have Char taking it up. Elijah, you're walking away with the Shining Fates ETB, ETB buddy. That was so much fun, that was so close. Another great ending to another race today. That was so close, guys. That was absolutely wild. Char, congratulations, sir, coming in. Really dropping a lot of marbles today. 63 total marbles, but $120. Absolutely crazy today, man. You do walk away with the Jungle Pack. That really does make it up for a lot of the races lately for you. That was a lot of fun, guys. I hope you all had a great time.